Did you know that Antarctica is home to 70% of the planet's fresh water? From Nazi base camps to ancient alien hideouts, here are six of the darkest and most mysterious secrets of Antarctica. Number 6. New Swabia One of the most famous conspiracy theories surrounding Antarctica deals with the Nazis. During the Second World War, Adolf You-Know-Who chartered many expeditions to Antarctica claiming that it was for scientific research. Naturally, by having such a long track record of being a stand-up citizen of the Earth, no one believed him. While much of Antarctica's mountain ranges and geography were mapped on the expedition, most countries were suspicious as to what Hitler's ulterior motives were. While many wrote this off as another strange pursuit of the occult or the supernatural, there were many who believed that he was establishing a military base. While there is no concrete evidence that these bases exist, there are certain geographical anomalies such as the 14-mile structure that makes people think that something was built under the ice. Another one of the most popular geographical anomalies is simply known as the black hole. In the center of the massive continent, there is a large black pit that has been surrounded by mystery for over 75 years. It is no coincidence that the location of this hole was also the location of many of Hitler's research expeditions. There are many conspiracy theorists who believe Hitler successfully established a subterranean military base in Antarctica. Some of the more extreme conspiracy theorists believe that he might have even fled to the alleged base after the war to rendezvous with any remaining Nazi soldiers and or UFOs while we're at it. Because of its odd geographical location and less than forgiving terrain, the hole has not been revisited in years. And now for number 5. But first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back! And early squad, I see you! If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 5. Underground Mountains In 1958, the Soviets were off on a mapping expedition to study Antarctica. In order to test the thickness of the ice, they would detonate explosives every 100 miles. Suddenly, the scientists found themselves standing on top of a very thin sheet of ice. As they continued to inspect the ice below them, they soon realized that they were standing above a subglacial mountain range. Just below the thin ice beneath them was a nearly two-mile drop down to the valley floor of the 750-mile-long mountain range. Now known as the Gambertsev Mountains, it is estimated that the mountain range is between 900 million and 1 billion years old. It's very hard to imagine that there are mountains under the surface because everything looks really flat. Scientists are baffled as to how they still exist. These mountains should have eroded a long time ago. They are thinking that within the last 100 million to 200 million years, there was another tectonic shift that reformed the mountains, giving them a kind of facelift. Number 4. Hidden Lakes Possibly the most interesting discovery surrounding Antarctica is the world hidden beneath the ice. Two and a half miles below the surface of Antarctica lies a subglacial lake named Lake Vostok, approximately the size of Lake Superior. This lake likely formed due to heat from the Earth's core melting large parts of the ice sheet. While it has yet to be confirmed, the lake is at least hundreds of thousands of years old. It is widely agreed that a lake of this size has been in liquid form for a few million years. Lakes such as Vostok and other subterranean lakes that have been isolated for extended periods of time give scientists hope that there is microbial life that has developed differently from their surface-dwelling companions. This could possibly provide us insight on what microbial life was like millions of years ago. Scientists are mainly interested in the genetic variation that would have taken place in these isolated conditions. While it may not be proof of ice people per se, it does give us hope that life could possibly exist on other planets and moons with similar climates. So why haven't we drilled down and sampled the water, you ask? Well, we have, but we weren't too smart about it. In order to create such a deep hole, drillers need to use chemicals like Freon to prevent the hole from refreezing. This poses a risk of contaminating the ancient waters and ruining the research, which is exactly what happened. When scientists finally reached the lake, they did not account for the water rushing back up the hole they drilled, so the first sample was contaminated but still tested. In the second attempt, the scientists avoided contaminating the sample, but they forgot to sterilize the drill used to breach the lake. This means that most microbial life found in the samples was probably residual surface bacteria rather than a new hope for subterranean life. Good news though, in 2015, a Russian team claimed that they successfully extracted one liter of uncontaminated water from the lake, but lost funding for their project just 10 months later. 
Luckily, they had reached the cheapest part of the research stage, analysis. So far, scientists have said they have found somewhere around 3,500 unique gene sequences in the subglacial waters. But many argue that this number is impossible because they believe that there were still degrees of contamination that were not accounted for. The project's lack of funding also prevents the team from repeating the experiment, so as for right now, their results aren't taken very seriously. Scientists are still passionate about finding proof of complex subglacial life. Luckily for researchers, Vostok is just one of 200 subterranean liquid lakes in Antarctica. If scientists find proof of life in some of these lakes, it will give them hope that this can be repeated on planets with similar conditions. Saturn's and Jupiter's moons not only have subterranean lakes, but even subterranean oceans hidden deep below the surface. Imagine if there were similarities. Number 3. The 14-Mile Structure What the heck is this? The 14-mile by 4.5-mile area first gained attention in 2006 when someone exploring Google Earth pointed out the strange nature and size of the structure. It began to gain an incredible amount of attention on the internet over the following months. Many believed it to be a hoax at first, or possibly just a glitch on Google Earth imaging, until it was confirmed by a flyover that the structure was visible to the naked eye as well. Even more intriguing are the clear lines in the snow leading up to the structure, almost as if something has been coming and or going from the area, or something was dragged. These could be written off as just a few random lines in the snow, if some of the tracks weren't 111 miles long. So, with such a level of internet infamy, you would think that the governments of the world would be interested in solving this mystery, right? Wrong. The governments and scientists of the world have had a suspicious disinterest in what this anomaly might be. The few scientists that have responded simply give the perfect men in black response, saying it is probably just light reflecting off the different sheets of ice that make up the Antarctic continent. Others, such as amateur researchers and internet trolls, have a much more elaborate explanation for what the massive structure might be. The prevailing theory? Aliens. There is a strong belief that this structure is either a buried alien craft or a government black site used to hide aliens. These theories are based on the visible brush marks in the ice on top of the area, almost as if someone was trying to smooth over the snow that was covering it up. Both reasons explain why the government would want to cover it up, which would account for their strange lack of interest in the area. Or maybe they just really don't care at all about that part of the frozen world. It's up for you to decide. But it's expensive to go there yourself on a civilian budget to find out for sure. Even if the average internet sleuth was able to make it out to the continent, they would lack the tools and skills to properly analyze the area. One last mysterious coincidence. In 1962, over 60 years before the images surfaced, a man who was a noted ufologist claimed to have evidence that the United States was harboring aliens in an underground government facility in Antarctica. Could this be the mysterious 14-mile structure we see today? Number 2. Operation High Jump in the past 100 years, the U.S. military has made numerous expeditions to Antarctica for ice training missions. The objective of these missions was to test the performance of the U.S. military in sub-zero temperatures. One of the goals of these missions was to establish a working military base on the ice. One of the earliest missions, named Operation High Jump, took place in 1946, a short time after the end of World War II. This was the United States' second expedition to Antarctica and its first attempt at establishing a research base on the continent. What makes this mission particularly interesting were the events, circumstances, and accusations surrounding the entire mission. Upon the announcement of the project, the Soviets immediately responded with claims that the U.S. was searching for a possible Nazi base and also looking to confirm UFO activity in the area. This was the first red flag that the government might not have been completely honest with the public. Cal surprise! The second red flag was the number of mysterious deaths that occurred on the missions. Three crewmen died in a plane crash that was blamed on a blizzard that was never confirmed. The bodies of the three were never found. Another crewman went missing, and a fellow crewman claimed that he had been crushed by rolling equipment and the body could not be recovered. The Soviets, clearly public friend number one, once again voiced their opinion, claiming that they had evidence that the Americans had been attacked by soldiers from the alleged Nazi base. While this sounds like a vodka-fueled conspiracy theory, the lack of evidence provided by the soldiers doesn't help the case. In 2004, a group set out to find the remains of the victims, but not even the crashed plane could be found. 
What makes the situation even more unsettling is that the mission was cancelled in a panic just a short six months into the expedition. There were rumors that the crew had seen something they weren't supposed to. Operation High Jump was the largest spike in UFO sightings and alien hysteria in history. So what might have caused this? What happened to the missing crewmen? And where is the plane? Maybe Russia knows. Number 1. Icy Atlantis? A satellite captured an image of an oval-shaped structure measuring 400 feet across. Archaeologists believe that this structure looks man-made. The rings look like walls of a compound in the middle of the Antarctic, but what the heck is it doing there? It's thousands of miles from any civilization on the coldest, driest, and windiest place on Earth. Could this formation somehow have been formed by the winds of Antarctica? They are known to create dunes over the snow and make very strange shapes, but here the formation is circular. Was it a natural process? Could it be formed by glacial lakes or ponds that freeze and then collapse? But the strange thing is that Antarctica is covered in ice sheets that are three and a half miles deep, so it's very unlikely that it will be melting and forming thin ice sheets anytime soon. Conspiracy theorists believe that it is proof of an ancient city, along with a pyramid shape that was also said to have been found nearby. People claim that it must be a trace of a human settlement hidden beneath the ice, and that it could even be the home of the legendary Atlantis. Without the resources to go to the harsh climate, it's impossible to tell from the satellite imagery just what this formation might be. Thanks for watching! Any theories about the icy circular structure found in the ice? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you soon! Bye!